Today in the Press Run Club Packet Pickup, the Detroit Free Press Marathon. We got the map, the big map. A new course this year, made a video about that. And now uh, let's go pick up a packet. more exciting than the Cleveland one. That was empty. Sure. Yeah. Official merch. Oh, I need to get, we gotta come back to there. There's the goos and stuff. All right. I like this, but I don't know. All right, we finally made it through all the vendors. Where are we? Half marathon packet picked up. Packet picked up. Bag of advertising. Now I gotta go get some gels. Four for six. What a deal. Countdown clock we have. One day, thir 13. 13 hours, 5 minutes, 50, 49, 48 seconds. So, all right, that's the expo. Successful expo. Got my bib, I'm in the race, and energy gel. All right, so overall, good, good packet pickup. A lot of people. Cleveland was dead, it was empty. This was nice. So, in, out, quick. They didn't make it a maze, which was nice. What are your thoughts? That was really fun. But yeah, really fun. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of people, like you said, that it felt alive. It was alive. It felt like there's something going on and we're all excited for it and we be, be here on Sunday. Side note, if you're staying downtown, the Foundation Hotel right there is probably the most prime hotel location, but I can't imagine it's easy to get a room this weekend. I should look and see what prices are, but prime location. All right, so I'm gonna head home, do a little packet review, see what's inside the Detroit Free Press Marathon packet for 2022, and uh, wrap it up. All right, so I'm back home. I'm gonna do a little review of the, the packet that I got. I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm gonna take everything out and uh, see what's in it. So this is the, the bag. I think this is uh, the bag that you use for bag check at the actual race. Don't quote me on that, um, but I think that's what it's for. I think that's why it's clear. Um, so we'll just dig in. Uh, first, we have the sticker, of course. I did see a video making fun of people who, who brag about running a half marathon. Thought it was a little bit over the top. It's okay to be proud of your accomplishments. Of course, I have my race bib. Um, I'm glad they fit my handle on the, the front of that. Next up, we have this thing. We'll open it up. Take two, this thing, which is a, I think this is a neck warmer. Yeah, it's a neck warmer, elastic -y. I have a couple of these from previous Detroit marathons. I like them a lot, especially in the frigid cold of, of Michigan in the winter. So that is a cool thing. Next up, we have True Earth Eco Strips Laundry Detergent. I don't know, cool, something, something useful, practical. We'll give it a, Give it a whirl. Cool, again, another practical item in the bag. That's always good. Um, ooh, we got our sacred essentials. This was in the bag in Cleveland, and that was a race in May, and I have never used it. So now I have two little mini samples of sacred essentials. Next up, we have the Detroit Free Press Marathon official race guide. I'm sure, yeah, a little welcome to the marathon, race day information. And then we have the moment we've all been waiting for, the race shirt. So this year, uh, this is the front, Detroit Free Press Half Marathon 13.1. And then this is the back. So we have this, this logo, which the star for the US and the, the maple leaf for Canada, um, and the Ambassador Bridge, Detroit 22 
pretty cool. One thing, and I mean, this is, the, the material looks nice. The race is sponsored by New Balance, but this doesn't look like a New Balance product, which is interesting. I, I pointed out the price of some of those New Balance shirts, so not super surprising. Previous uh, marathon shirts that I've gotten have been made by New Balance. I know it's just a logo printed on the arm, but it is cool to get the race shirt made by the actual like apparel or footwear sponsor. Um, this one just looks like it's generic, although it seems like really nice quality. Like I'll definitely run in this. So a great addition to my, my running apparel rotation. And then of course uh, you have the safety pins, one of the most important parts. Good size safety pins. Uh, they didn't they didn't include the gigantic ones, which that, that can be kind of annoying. So good work on the safety pins. And then of course the goo that I bought, four for six. Uh, pretty good deal, surprisingly good deal. So that is the packet. Overall, I think this is really good. There really is only like one thing that I don't think I'll use and that's this, but it still is a free sample. The, the one in Cleveland, not to keep ripping on Cleveland, but that was just full of like, like junk mail basically. This has like everything included in the packet is actually useful. So that's pretty cool. So that's the packet, that's the expo. I'm looking forward to running the race. Uh, I'm excited, the weather's gonna be a little bit chilly. Otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to getting out there. I, I put out a video before about the race, put out a couple videos about this, but again, if you have any questions about the, the marathon, I've run uh, the half, the full, and the relay, so happy to answer any of those in the comments. So that is today's video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the course.